Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the guest of honor, the commanding officer, and remain standing for the march on the colors, the national anthem, and the entry of the traditional birthday. Oh! 
On November 1st, 1941, John A. Lassou, 13th Commandant of the Marine Corps, directed that a reminder of honorable service of the Corps be published by every command to all Marines throughout the globe on the birthday of our Corps. Since that day, Marines have continued to distinguish themselves on many battlefields and foreign shores, in war and peace. On this day, the 13th Commandant of Article 38, United States Marine Corps, Manual Edition, 1921, is republished as follows. On November 10, 1775, Corps of Marines was created by a resolution of Continental Congress. Since that date, many of thousands of men have borne the name Marine, and many of them, it is fitting that we who are Marines should commemorate the birthday of our Corps by calling to mind the glories of its long and illustrious history. The record of our Corps is one which will bear comparison with that of the most famous military organizations in the world's history. During 90 of the 146 years of its existence, the Marine Corps has been in action against the nation's foes. From the Battle of Trenton to the Argonne, Marines have won foremost honors in war, and in its longest era of tranquility. At home, generation after generation of Marines have grown in gray and war, both hemispheres and in the corner of the seven seas, that our country and its citizens might enjoy peace and security. In every battle and skirmish since the birth of our Corps, Marines have acquitted themselves with the greatest distinction, winning new honors on each occasion until the term Marine has come to signify all that is the highest in the military efficiency and solidarity virtue. This high name of distinction, distinction and solidarity and repute who we are Marines today have received from those who preceded us in the Corps. With it, we have also received from the eternal sphere which has been animated in our Corps from generation to generation and has been distinguished mark of the Marines in every age. So long that the spirit continues to flourish the Marines will be found equal to every emergency in the future as they have been in the past. And the men of our nation will regard us as worthy successors to the long line of illustrious men who have served as soldiers of the seven seas since the founding of our court. John A. Lejeune, Commandant. The inspiring message from the 13th Commandant has left its mark in the, high, the hearts and minds of all Marines. Ladies and gentlemen, a message from our Commandant of the Marine Corps, Robert B. Miller. When the Continental Congress raised up two battalions of Marines in 1775, it launched the greatest fighting force the world has ever known, a force revered globally for its uncommon valor, unparalleled adaptability, and ferocious tendencies. Over the past 240 years, the battlefields and equipment have changed, but the spirit of the United States Marine Corps has prevailed in every clime and place. 100 years ago, Marine Corps Depot, Paris Island opened its doors to the first base dedicated solely to making Marines. Since then, hundreds of thousands of men and women have been forged into elite warriors at Paris Island Marine Corps Depot recruiting in San Diego and the basic school in Quantico. Each recruit had a different reason for stepping onto those yellow footprints, but all are unified in intangible traits and characterized United States Marines and the remark legacy that has carried across generations. Whether you served on the hollow grounds of Bella Wood, fought in the iconic battles of World War II, navigated the harsh terrain and climate of the Chozon Reservoir or Vietnam, conducted assaults in Desert Storm, marched on Baghdad, fought in close combat in Fallujah, or conducted the combat operating in Afghanistan, everyone who wears the even glow of an anchor is a member of that storied legacy. As we celebrate 240th birthday of our Corps, we pay tribute to all who have served and we remember our fallen heroes. We take great pride in our legacy and in the fine men and women who have carried our colors into the future. And we extend a heartfelt thank you to our families and their steadfast support. Our 26th Commandant, General Lewis Wilson, once said, in the last analysis, what the Marine Corps has been and what we, what we make of it during our respective watches. And that, with each Marine is not confined to the time he spends on active duty. It lasts as long as he is proud to bear the title of the United States Marine. Thank you for all regarding our legacy and during your watch. Happy birthday, Marine Robert A. Miller. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is customary at a Marine Corps birthday celebration worldwide for Marines to cut traditional cake in the celebration of our birthday illustrious Corps. The first piece is given to the guest of honor, Chief Williams. The next piece is given to the oldest and youngest cadet present, symbolizing the experience and youthful spirit that all the hallmarks of our Corps. 
the oldest cadet president is Billy Lozanowski. He was born on September 22nd, 1996 in Hobart, Indiana. The passing of the cake from the oldest to youngest cadet symbolizes the passing of history and tradi traditions to the next generation. The youngest cadet president is Khalid Muhammad. He was born on September 28, 2001 in Gary, Indiana. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the retiring of the colors and the march off of the official party.